shifting rapidly. Why it could show up at places you'll be this weekend and what you can do to protect yourself. This young boy died in a house fire today. Tonight, we're learning new information about what happened and what every parent should tell their kids to prevent a similar tragedy. A smoking hot start to the weekend, but it's not going to last. I'm tracking some storms this weekend. I'll let you know when those showers will move in. And it's the newest way predators are targeting children through their cell phone. Consumer 10 shows you a new software program that lets you know who's texting your team. 10 TV News 8 to 8 11 starts right now. From Central Ohio's news leader, presented in high definition, this is 10 TV News HD. Tonight, warnings are posted at pools expected to be packed this weekend. A bacteria is spreading rapidly. And it's making people really sick. Good evening, everybody. I'm Andrea Camburn. And I'm Jerry Revish. The disease is called shigalosis, and it's already made nearly 100 people in Columbus and Franklin County violently ill. 10 TV News reporter Kevin Landers explains how it's transmitted and what you can, produce, you can do to protect yourself. Parents have one more thing to worry about when they take their children to the pool this summer. Now warning signs like this will greet them, telling them to make sure they wash their child's hands after they use the restroom. Yeah, I think everything starts at home, though. You got to wash your hands. Everyone needs to teach their children to wash their hands. Lots of yuckies everywhere. The yuckies in this case is a bacteria called shigalosis, often transmitted through fecal matter from one toddler to the other. A common source of contamination is diaper changing rooms like this one. He's um, been having diarrhea. He has. Yeah. And he's been to the doctor. He's had diarrhea for two months. And they, they couldn't um, find out what was wrong with him. Terry Weaver says she'll ask her doctor to check for shigalosis the next time. Okay. She says her son hasn't had a problem in a week. His hand sanitizer for his hands. In the meantime, she'll continue to use hand sanitizer to make sure her 15 month old is safe. Health experts are sounding the warning about the bacteria after seeing a record 96 cases so far this year. Last year, they saw just 13 cases. My concern would be a parent pick a child up from um, a setting where they've had playmates that may have been ill. They don't wash their hands, and then they eat. While daycare centers are often a major reason why the bacteria spreads from child to child, this time it's different. Right now, what we're seeing is primarily transmission within the home where someone is ill and it's spreading to other members within the family. While a properly chlorinated pool can kill the bacteria, others like kiddie pools don't. So health experts are calling for parents not to use them until they can find the source of this latest contamination. The health department says the very young and elderly are the most at risk. And in some cases, those who show no symptoms can pass along the bacteria. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kevin, thanks a lot. So the signs and symptoms of shigalosis usually begin a day or two after exposure to the bacteria. They can include diarrhea, which is often bloody, abdominal cramps, and a fever. Here's the good news. Antibiotics can shorten the duration of the illness. Jerry? Well, investigators now say a four-year-old playing with a lighter sparked a fire that ended up killing him. The fire started in the basement of this home on Grasmere Avenue in the Linden area of North Columbus. It quickly trapped four-year-old Dion Clark. A neighbor heard his screams coming from a basement window and tried to guide the child through that thick smoke. I'm smacking on the concrete. Come here, come here, come here. And, and he's like, help, help, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And Firefighters say it appeared the child tried to hide when that fire started, making it harder for firefighters to find him. The home also had no smoke detectors. And tonight, firefighters remind all parents to talk to your children about what to do in case fire breaks out. Make sure they know at least two ways to get out of the house. Teach them how to crawl low under the smoke while getting out. And always have smoke detectors and remember to check them often. Andrea? The search continues for the person involved in a deadly hit-and-run accident in Licking County. 10TV was there as OHP seized this car from a Reynoldsburg home last evening. Authorities believe it is the one that was involved in that crash. A driver found 46-year-old Roberta Hayes' body along Route 40 early Tuesday morning. Investigators tell us the adult son of the woman who lives at this Reynoldsburg home is considered a person of interest. They are not releasing his name, however, 
and they continue to look for him. A former Upper Arlington coach and teacher must register as a sex offender now. He'll also have to spend the next five years in prison for having sex with a student. Kevin Chapman apologized to his victim and her family in court today and asked for forgiveness. The victim was 15 at the time of the sexual assault nearly 10 years ago. She says she's battled years of depression and anxiety because of it. Updating a child abuse case, this mother and her boyfriend now face additional charges for abusing their baby. A Fairfield grand jury indicted Rebecca Carpenter and Charles Piles on charges of felonious assault and child endangering. The couple's accused of abusing 13-month-old Angel Carpenter last month and then waiting nearly two days to take her to the hospital. The child remains in a critical condition tonight. Central Ohio is dealing with a major cat crisis. This may surprise you, but there are an estimated one million stray cats roaming. And as 10 TV's Lindsay Sievert shows us, they are becoming a problem for both businesses and residents. Here's the kitties. Peggy Hutchison likes cats, but not this many. And she'll tell you up front, they're not hers. <laughs> I haven't got any, I haven't brought any cats to the, to the premises. But a colony of about two dozen feral cats settled in this Fairfield County business district. A container here, and I feed them, I feed them in this, in this pan. She just can't see them suffer. Get a lot of slack from that, but I, you know, I can't let an animal starve. A few years ago, it just started with one cat in a dumpster, and then the cats kept coming and coming and coming. Female cats can have three litters a year, um, and that you just keep adding those numbers up, and it just multiplies. Local animal advocate Janice Kobai says the colonies in Fairfield County are a growing problem. In the wintertime, they'll just sit back here on our furnace. Tom Gasser sees the cat problem as a health problem. They use his pharmacy as a litter box. It's a bad odor for one thing, and as a health issue, when you don't know where these cats are coming from, you have this, you know, laying around your business. Advocates believe there is a solution. Trap, spay and neuter, then release. I think our elected officials that have been asked for help and the comments are that if the state doesn't mandate it, we aren't going to do anything. I think that's the wrong approach. So until someone steps up, Peggy does what she can and the cats keep coming. Well, I think we need some help. In Fairfield County, Lindsay Sievert, 10 TV News. Hmm. Cat organizations say the problem is getting worse as the economy falters. More people just can't afford to feed their cats and are simply abandoning them. Tonight, the grandmother of an escaped juvenile inmate is pleading for him to surrender before she faces charges. 17-year-old Brandon Starks escaped three weeks ago while being escorted to a dentist appointment. Authorities arrested his brother, Clinton Staples, on charges of being the getaway driver. And Stark's mother is also accused of playing a role in his escape. And now Stark's grandmother says police are investigating her. She says it's time for the teen to turn himself in. It's not safe out there. I'm that's what I'm afraid of. He's out there and I don't know where he at or what he's doing. And if, if he's alive, or he, I don't know. But it's more safe if he turn himself in with the police. And the van Starks allegedly used to get away belongs to his grandmother. The Columbus Symphony found a way to spread the music tonight, even though its season was canceled. <laughs> isn't it? Symphony members played a self-produced summer pops concert tonight at the Kaufman Amphitheater in Dublin. And if you missed it, they will hold another concert tomorrow night at 7.30 at Vets Memorial. That's on West Broad Street near downtown. And negotiations do continue to determine the future of the Columbus Symphony Orchestra. Heads up, driving is going to be a little bit slow along a major Columbus roadway this weekend. Construction began tonight on 315 from downtown to the Upper Arlington area. Crews are making pavement repairs there on the high Highway and its ramps. Northbound traffic down to one lane from 670 to Ackerman, and southbound lanes are down to one lane from 670 to North Broadway. And I drove it tonight, going out for dinner. Avoid that area if you can. It's just not any fun right now. But maybe the weather will be. Sounds like we're going to get uh, at least 50 50, Chris. Yeah, well, actually, the weekend looks pretty nice. Uh, the best chance of rain will be late tomorrow night and perhaps during the overnight tomorrow while y'all are asleep. 
Take a look at temperatures right now. It was warm today, still 74 at the Marion Municipal Airport after high temperatures anywhere from 85 to 90 earlier. We've settled back into the mid to upper 70s around central Ohio. At Port Columbus right now, it's 79. The temperature up at Delaware, 74. Still holding on to 78 Marysville. And there's where we were today out at London, the temperature at 74 degrees now. Here are your weather headlines. We are looking at a warm, humid day on the way tomorrow. Thunderstorms, as I mentioned, arriving late, uh, hopefully after sunset tomorrow night, so you'll be able to enjoy almost all of your day tomorrow rain-free. Depending on how soon they come in, that will really tell us how quickly they're going to move out. Right now, it looks like there's a pretty good bet we're going to see showers and storms early on the day Sunday, but they may be out of here by lunchtime or so. Here's Storm Tracker over the last three hours. You can see we are quiet here. There have been some pretty nasty thunderstorms and actually some severe weather at that. Back here across parts of Illinois, extending back through Iowa and further west. This is going to be moving our way. There's a risk for some severe weather the next couple of days, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But that's what you expect when you have this kind of heat and a cold front coming. So let me take you through the forecast uh, hour by hour. Overnight, no problem. Skies will be clear. It's going to be a little bit on the muggy side, so the fan or the AC uh, must tonight. And tomorrow's going to be hot just like today. That went by fast. Sorry about that. High temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Trust me. And now, let me take you through and show you what's going to be happening here as we head on into your Saturday. You can see the line of showers and thunderstorms right here from Toledo to Fort Wayne over to around Indy. Those drift down into central Ohio as we go on through the night tomorrow. So by 8, we start to see a couple storms north and maybe west. But as we get to about this time tomorrow night, a little better chance we see occasional showers and thunderstorms. Here they are early Sunday morning, moving out of here, and it improves as we get into Sunday afternoon. In fact, with the front by, wind should go to the northwest, humidity levels should drop. And the forecast is showing that. Let's begin with tonight. We're headed down to 67, clear, kind of warm. For the daytime tomorrow, hot, high temperature at 88. And now your seven day forecast, there we go. 70% chance of showers, mainly early on your Sunday. And then some relief from the heat as we head into next week. I don't know about you guys, Jerry, Andrea and I had a great time at the Madison County Fair, but I could use a shower. <laughs> because we, we took it all in out there. And you're looking at some of the pictures here from Chopper 10, great time out there. The lemon shakeups were awesome. Next Friday, we head to Bucyrus and uh, you can join us as we brought broadcast live from the Crawford County Fair. Join us right here on 10 TV beginning at 5 o'clock. A lot of friends out there saying hello. We had a good time. We really did. It was a little hot out there today, too. In Consumer 10 tonight, more and more teens now have cell phones, but it can be very hard for parents to keep track of who they're talking to. I'm worried about pictures, I guess, especially. I know that's big right now. There's been an increase in problems with teens receiving inappropriate pictures and text messages. Police say texting is also becoming the preferred tool of predators because it's hard to trace. But now a new computer program called Radar promises to help you protect your children. You upload the software to the phone and then create a list of the people your child is allowed to call or text. If anyone else calls or texts, the parent receives an alert on their phone. Parents say it's a good compromise between privacy and security. Well, I just feel torn between invading his privacy but going through his phone all the time and wanting to know what's going on. So I think it's a great way to monitor what he's doing. Radar costs 10 to $15 a month, but you can try it out for free. You'll find a link to it on the Consumer 10 section of 10TV.com. Speaking of the little ones, 45 minutes and counting. Do you know where your kids are? The Columbus curfew says they got to be inside by midnight. So send them a text or a call. Just get him inside. And that does it for us tonight at 11 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. Coming up later on the David Letterman Show, actor Steve Carell and cycling legend Lance Armstrong. But first, Jeff Hogan joins us with a preview of Wall to Wall Sports Extra. Jeff? Yeah, guys, a good weekend to all, and you can start it in 20 minutes. We begin on the fast track of NASCAR, then slow things down in the motorsports world, more in line with a Friday night cruise-in, if you will. We'll take it to the fairgrounds for the Good Guys Nationals. From muscle to classics, we've got a car for you. We've also got a visit with Blue Jackets coach Ken Hitchcock as the team sent its young prospects off for the summer. It's all next on Wall Extra. 10 TV closed captioning is brought to you by the original Mattress Factory. More mattress for less money. Finding the best dentist in town isn't always easy, so we found them for you. 
All next week, get information you can't get anywhere else. The best person for your smile chosen by their toughest critics. Dentists rate dentists. All next week at 6. It's a majestic display of live art in Columbus when Waterfire Columbus celebrates the city in grand style on July 12th. Waterfire Columbus at Genoa Park. Log on for more information. I served in Iraq. I fought in Afghanistan. My son is fighting in Iraq. We all fought. We're still fighting. We're still fighting, and today we're winning. Casualties are at an all-time low. Al-Qaeda in Iraq is decimated. The Iraqi army controls most of the country. These are the facts. They can't be ignored. We changed strategy in Iraq, and the surge worked. Now that's change we can believe in. We need to finish the job. We need to finish the job. No matter who is president. This weekend, the Riker Used Car Factory has joined forces with Carfax, the country's most trusted name in used cars, during the One Owner Used Car Clearance. Hey, it's Rick Riker at the Used Car Factory. Choose from over 1,000 vehicles, including over 600 clearly marked cars that have had only one owner. 33 mile per gallon 07 Fusions, only 11,995. 36 mile per gallon 07 Elantras, only 12,995. All vehicles come with a six month, 6,000 mile return policy and a free Carfax vehicle history report. Gotta get to the Used Car Factory before 6 p.m. Sunday. At Kalahari Resorts, we go beyond the ordinary. So you can concentrate on the bigger, more important things, like a vacation with family and friends that's beyond imagination. Kalahari Resorts in Wisconsin Dells and Sandusky, Ohio. Beyond. Why is the upcoming Nationwide Tour Tournament a must-attend event? Because it's where you can take your kids to see birdies and eagles without going to the zoo. Because there's as much action off the course as there is on it. In fact, just think of it as a really big party, disguised as a golf tournament. The Nationwide Children's Hospital Invitational at the Scarlet Course, July 24th through the 27th. For tickets, call 764-GOLF or visit nchigolf.com. Who can say they've sold more Hyundais in the surrounding 13-state region since 1987? Hatfield Hyundai. And this month, we're out to double, maybe even triple your gas mileage. Get 33 miles per gallon in an 09 Sonata for just $229 a month with zero down. Get 38 miles per gallon in an 08 Accent for just $12,333. And get $6,000 off MSRP on any 2008 Santa Fe Limited in stock. Who always gives you the best price, best service, best selection? Hatfield Hyundai at I-270 and Georgesville Road. Summer ice time cools things off for what's been a heated Blue Jackets offseason, but we waste no time revving things up tonight. Welcome to Wall-to-Wall -Wall Sports Extra. I'm Jeff Hogan. And sprint car racing, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series had qualified, qualifying rained out yesterday. Tonight, the Nationwide Series got good weather at Chicagoland Speedway's half mile and a half trioval, looking for a clean start when the green flag dropped for the Dollar General 300, and not quite did they get it. Tony Stewart misses a gear, and he gets rammed in the rear right there by Kevin Harvick. Camping world into the old spice. Matt Kenseth nudged by Bobby Hamilton. He spins into the infield, lap 54. How about some green flag pit stops? You know, if you think fuel economy is only important to you, it's vital for this race. 47 to go, Kyle Busch takes the lead and holds on. He led 101 laps and Busch gets his fifth win of the season. This one at Chicagoland. You know, ever since the introduction of sports cars, juiced up vehicles have become a major collectible item for sports fans. Custom, classic, hot rods, you name it. Dan Franzak got behind the wheel of many of them tonight at the fairgrounds. Columbus has been inundated this weekend with thousands of cars one wouldn't normally see on 270. And when they see them, they do... A real double take when we're following one another. It's, it's really neat. It is the Good Guys PPG Nationals. There is actually a gentleman, the founder of our company, Mr. Gary Metters, and he is the good guy himself. That was his nickname. Good guys and gals representing 37 states from across the country are making Columbus one of their 24 pit stops. This is our biggest show of the series. How big is it? By the time registration closes on Sunday, we'll have 
have about 7,000. 7,000 cars attracting close to 70,000 people, all with their own story about their four-wheel passion. My wife came out to the garage, and she was eating Skittles. And I said, stop, that's the color. It had an orange Skittle. So we took that orange Skittle and went to the paint shop and matched the color. They might be classic rides, but their drivers are cruising with present-day accommodations. We have GPS, we have radios and CDs. One of the newest features this year at the Good Guys PPG Nationals is the Hot Wheels Paint Your Ride Contest. The colors they use on these cars are the same type of colors you would see on the Hot Wheels we used to play with as kids. I'd like to take this thing home and play with it. PPG and Hot Wheels came together and wanted to bring back some of the Spectra Flame colors from the 1960s that uh, used to be on the Hot Wheels toys. We brought them back, and now we uh, can offer those to the custom painters to be able to paint their, their big toys. Toys for big guys, or should I say good guys, with a great love for their hobby. It's definitely a lifestyle. It, it's in your blood. Car guys are linked. You know, it's in your blood, and it's, it's just a big family. For Walla Wall Sports Extra, I'm Dan Franzek. Cool rides, man. Flat track racing at Beulah Park is nothing new, but horsepower instead of horses on the grounds. That is new. Tomorrow, the American Motorcycle Association debuts at the facility, one of just three stops on the 20-race circuit that tackles a full-mile track. Tonight was qualifying. Heats begin at 5.30 tomorrow evening. Columbus sent its Yankees affiliation to Scranton Wilkes-Barre last year in a three-way swap that brought Washington to Columbus. Tonight at the Coop, it was the Yanks, back in a familiar place, but a lot of new names, including this one on the mound here, throwing out the first pitch. Alberto Gonzalez, home run for the Yanks in the top of the sixth. That's a solo shot, made it two to nothing. Bottom of the inning, bases loaded, Pokey Reese. Little fielder's choice brings home Ed Rogers, but not enough of that. Scranton Wilkes-Barre, 5-2 winners tonight. Progressive field, our next stop. The Indians broke a 10-game losing streak last night by busting out the whooping sticks. Tonight against the Rays from Tampa, doing it with a little pitching. Cliff Lee finished with seven strikeouts. They did get some offense in the fifth. Ben Francisco doubles and scores Jamie Carroll. Indians up 4-0 at that point. They win at 5-zip. That's two in a row for the Tribe. How about that? Reds in the land of the brew at Milwaukee. Bases loaded in the eighth tie game at five. Solomon Torres, wild pitch in the dirt. Jay Bruce scores. That's the difference. Reds win it 6-5. It'll you know, be a Real test for the Columbus crew tomorrow night at Utah. Real Salt Lake and the Black and Gold are two of the more improved clubs in Major League Soccer this season. The match marks the opening of the second half of the season for the hardest working team in America. Columbus has the second best record in the league. Real are unbeaten at home. Unbeaten at home in hockey, that's unheard of. But Ken Hitchcock looks for improvement in full year number two coaching the Blue Jackets. Dom Tiberi goes one-on-one -on -one with Hitch when we return. Obviously, you don't see us on television together very often. Do not adjust your dials, but it is for a good cause, we promise. Oh, it's a huge deal. Sunday morning in Westerville, we're going to play softball. Hoff Woods Park is the place, and it is the softball showdown for Autism, 10TV, NBC4, and ABC6, all on hand, QFM 96 from the radio side. And it's for a tremendous cause. Children's Hospital's Autism Center, one of the best of its kind in America, based right here in central Ohio. All we need is you. To be there. Yeah, be there for a good time, good cause, good thrashing will be on hand for you. I hope you're ready for that. I feel sorry for y'all. I really do. You should. It's going to get rough. It's going to be right here. You mean that logo that you're covering up? Uh, no, that one right there? One. The, the four? Right That's here. A strong one. The winner. Looks really nice in HD. Good luck. Okay. See you there. The Doppler 10 Weatherbug Network is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Nissan set out to create the perfect on-road vehicle and in the process created a category. Introducing two crossover leaders from Nissan. The redesigned Murano, awarded as an IIHS top safety pick. And the new Rogue, named 2008's best new small crossover. Lease Murano, $299 a month. Rogue, $229 a month. Don't follow the leader. Own one at your Nissan dealer now. Rosati Windows, the best buying experience in the business. So many of the manufacturers have gone to such high-tech equipment, almost robotic, where nothing is left for human hands. I think where we're different is we have a lot of high-tech equipment, but a lot of the stuff that we do is still done by hand, and I think it makes for a much stronger window. There's just a lot of little things that, that we do that, that add to the quality of our product. It was a time of uncertainty, hope, and change. The summer of love. 
Half a world away, another kind of love, of country, John McCain. Shot down, bayoneted, tortured, offered early release, he said no. He had sworn an oath. Home, he turned to public service. His philosophy, before party, polls, and self, America. A maverick, John McCain tackled campaign reform, military reform, spending reform. He took on presidents, partisans, and popular opinion. He believes our world is dangerous, our economy in shambles. John McCain doesn't always tell us what we hope to hear. Beautiful words cannot make our lives better, but a man who has always put his country and her people before self, before politics, can. Don't hope for a better life. Vote for one. McCain. I'm John McCain, and I approve this message. What's the fastest way to erase 10 years? Well, the Skin Center's revolutionary quick lift is getting some beautiful reviews. It's not just younger looking, it's natural looking. I love my hair, I love my jewelry, I love my clothes, I love to dress up again. 53 looks a lot better now. Why wait to look great? Call the Skin Center now for a free DVD. 1-800-321-LIFT. I finally came to Toyota Direct, and I just like the salespeople here. They were, the, they were pretty friendly. Very nice to us, very nice to my wife, and that was important. I got a great deal here, and I love the salesmen. They weren't pushy, just let you make, make up your own mind. We did not feel pressured. He just like, made me feel comfortable. I felt very comfortable with him. It made you a really good, comfortable feel dealing with a company like that. Save today on the 2009 Toyota Camry. They always put a smile on my face. When I walked away, I had a smile on my face. A change should do the Blue Jackets good. A lot of change, maybe even better. It's been a busy offseason for Columbus. Dom DeBerry met up with the coach after developmental camp for the latest. Ken Hitchcock, congratulations. Three-year extension to, to be here with the Blue Jackets. Most deserve it. And the hard work really begins now, doesn't it? Oh, does it ever. It's... Uh... You know, it's uh, to make the changes that we've made to change out a third of our roster. We've got a big job in getting our players together and uh, getting our leadership group in place. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I think, I think the changes have, have, have brought this healthy enthusiasm back into our team and into the city. And I think everybody's really looking forward to it. A year and a half with the organization, you're getting ready to start your full second year with this team. You, you really are getting a chance to put a mark on this team. So you, you're really getting, being able to build something, just, just your feelings on that. Well, I think for, for both Scott and I now, the drafted players are now coming on board. You know, the players that we drafted that were part of, of, uh, of Scott's regime are now starting to look like players on our team. I think we've been able to, uh, to put our stamp on some of the free agents that we've added, some of the guys we've traded for, and these are players that both Scott and myself feel comfortable with. And... You know, I just think the whole disposition of the group has changed. We've got this identity of a, of a strong physical hockey club that plays with an edge, and, and I think that's the way both Scott and I think the game has to be played. If, if we expect to win in the West, you're going to have to put a team on the ice, Don, that's, that's ultra-competitive. Oh, I think we can compete with anybody right now. I really believe that. I, you couldn't say that last year or the year before, but I believe that right now. One of the leadership pieces, the Blue Jackets, to that puzzle is back in the fold. Center Michael Pekka agreed to re-sign for one year. Pekka has experience to be plugged into any critical situation, and he's good in the room, and we know that's always good. Up next, we'll leave the ice and jump across the pond to Scotland to show you the shot of the day from the Scottish Open. Bagpipes not included. Great value, great safety, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Great service, great selection, it's what makes Hatfield Subaru Columbus's only Subaru Superstore. Visit us now for Hatfield Subaru Zero Down Days. Lease the 27-mile-per-gallon all-wheel drive Impreza for $199 a month with zero down. Or lease the 26-mile-per-gallon 2008 Outback for $249 a month with zero down. The best price, service, and selection at Columbus's only Subaru Superstore. Hatfield Subaru, I-270 and Georgesville Road. Record gas prices, a climate in crisis. John McCain says solve it now with a balanced plan. Alternative energy, conservation, suspending the gas tax, and more production here at home. He's pushing his own party to face climate change. But Barack Obama? For conservation, but he just says no to lower gas taxes. No to nuclear, no to more production, no new solutions. Barack Obama, just the party line. 
The Republican National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Now through Monday, only at Ashley Furniture Home Store, choose between two great offers. You'll find low Ashley Factory Direct prices store-wide and save up to $300 with instant coupons. Or you can choose to pay nothing until 2010. Plus, you'll get a $25 gas card free with qualifying purchase. For a few more days, you can save up to $300 on beautiful furniture for your home or pay nothing until 2010. Your choice of two great offers is extended through Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store. You're going to love this place. I'm a husband. I'm a mechanic. I'm a nurse. I'm a Buckeye. I'm a Latina. Underneath everything we are. I'm a gardener. I'm a nice guy. I'm a veteran. Underneath everything we do. I'm a wife. I'm a grandfather. We are all people. Connected, interdependent, united. I help. I'm a volunteer. I give. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. Now, save even more during the store closing sale at these two Linens and Things stores. Everything in every department is now 25 up to 50% off. No exceptions, nothing held back. Save today on all cookware, small appliances, housewares, bedding, bath, dinnerware, home decor, and much, much more. Save on famous brand names like Helphalon, Rachel Ray, Wamsutta, Cuisinart, Krupp's, KitchenAid, and many more. We are selling out to the bare walls with savings of 25 up to 50% and more store-wide. Only at these two area Linens and Things stores. It's the final days of Tansky Sawmill Toyota's summer sales event. Hot deals on every Toyota in stock. Your chance to lease an 09 Corolla for $199 a month. Get up to $1,000 Toyota customer cash on Camry. Or lease a 2009 Camry for $219 a month. 08 Sienna get $2,000 customer cash and 1.9% financing. All during the final days of Tansky's summer sales event. Big Tansky. Big Tansky. 10 TV's Commit to be Fit is brought to you by Donato's Pizza and by your Metro Parks. Feel free. Barclays Scottish Open in Glasgow. Par 3, 5th, Phil Mickelson on the tee. Hey, why not? This helped him make the cut. Bounce it a couple times and lefty with the ace. Go to your home. It does. Trails leader Angel Cabrera by five shots. You know, it's hard to believe, but the Ohio State football season opener is next month. Tomorrow on Wall, we'll get you prepped for the 08 season, and we'll go one-on-one -on -one with a member of last year's team, New York Jet Vernon Golston. Plus, the wall-to-wall -wall sports celebrity shootout continues from the 14th hole at Pinnacle. For Dan Franzak, I'm Jeff Hogan. Thanks for joining us. Have a great sports weekend. 10 TV News HD, winner of the best newscast in the state of Ohio. Who can say they've sold more Hyundais in the surrounding 13 state region since 1987? Hatfield Hyundai. And this month, we're out to double, maybe even triple your gas mileage. Get 33 miles per gallon in an 09 Sonata for just $229 a month with zero down. Get 38 miles per gallon in an 08 Accent for just $12,333. And get $6,000 off MSRP on any 2008 Santa Fe Limited in stock. Who always gives you the best price, best service, best selection? Hatfield Hyundai at I-270 and Georgesville Road. The future of television is here. Digital is in the air. If you own an antenna TV, you have until February 2009 to upgrade it to digital TV or it will stop working. Call 888-DTV-2009 or visit our website to get a big discount coupon on this low-cost digital converter box. Log on to 10TV.com and click on DTV Transition. Brought to you by 10TV and H.H. Gregg. H.H. Gregg, where price and advice is guaranteed. This weekend, the Riker Used Car Factory has joined forces with Carfax, the country's most trusted name in used cars, during the One Owner Used Car Clearance. Hey, it's Rick Riker at the Used Car Factory. Choose from over 1,000 vehicles, including over 600 clearly marked cars that have had only one owner. 33 mile per gallon 07 Fusions, only 11,995. 36 mile per gallon 07 Elantras, only 12,995. All vehicles come with a six month, 6,000 mile return policy and a free Carfax vehicle history report. Gotta get to the Used Car Factory before 6 p.m. Sunday. As you celebrate your independence, Front Room Furnishings wants you to know that all couches are not created equal. Some have a lot more style, offer greater comfort, and value that can't be denied. Right now, they're all on sale with no down payment, payments or interest for one year. The pursuit of life, liberty, and a beautiful new living room begins and ends at Front Room Furnishings.
final days of Toyota's summer sales event are winding down. If you're looking for a summer deal on a fuel-efficient new Toyota, you'd better get going. Get a new 09 Camry at 31 MPG. Now with 2.9 financing or up to $1,000 cash back. Or lease a new Camry for just $219 a month. Toyota's summer sales event ends July 31st. For a dealer near you, visit buyatoyota.com. Buy a ticket to the Nationwide Children's Hospital Invitational and help local charities, including the 10TV Family Fund. Call or log on for details. Brought to you by the injury lawyers at Elk and Elk. Elk and Elk, serious lawyers for serious injuries. Summer.